Hello and welcome back to this, our second parable of Jesus. Remember, we started this series last week. And now that it is June and the weather's hot, I am wearing my summer outfit all until Labor Day. Well, last week we talked about the runaway son. We call it the prodigal son. And today we're going to talk about a sower. What was that? No, 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 no. I'm sorry. Not someone who sews clothes. No, this is a different kind of sew. It's It sounds the same kind of, but it's spelled differently. Sower is someone who sows seeds. He plants seeds. It is a farmer. Here, I got a picture of one for you. This one from Vietnam, again, from Unsplash. I'm using all Unsplash pictures for this series. Here is a person in Vietnam, and in this bucket that he's carrying there, he's got seed. And he throws it, and he throws it, and he throws it. So, how many of those seeds do you think will really grow into a plant? Do you have any idea? I'm not sure anyone does. I do know that years ago, my Uncle Roy had a dairy farm out in Warren County here in Jersey. We used to love to go visit Uncle Roy on the farm. See, I grew up in Jersey City, and it got really hot in the summers in Jersey City, and there wasn't a whole lot to do. We didn't have air conditioning. Summers were hot, hanging out in the street corners or up in the park. And so we'd go visit Uncle Roy's farm. And he taught me a lot of things, including how to plant crops. Now, unlike this gentleman who just scatters it, Uncle Roy would dig a hole in the ground and we'd put, depending on the plant, sometimes three seeds in the hole, sometimes five. And I would always object. I would say, all of those seeds should grow. And Uncle Roy used to tell me, but do you think that or not? Not every seed grows. So what? You put in five, and if one grows, that's enough, because it'll give you plenty of harvest. I used to love to plant the zucchini seeds. We always put in five zucchini seeds. Usually two of them out of those five would sprout, and they would make them best tasting zucchinis you've ever had in your life. And Jesus told this story about the sower who goes out to sow. And some of the seeds, well, they land on rock and now they don't grow. And some of those seeds, birds ate before they got to grow. And you know, some of those seeds started to grow but they weren't watered enough and they withered. Uh, some of those seeds, they started off well, but weeds grew up and choked those good seeds. Now, should we be upset about all of that? Jesus says, no, don't be upset because enough of them will grow. Enough of them will become big plants that you will have everything you need out of those plants. Keep planting seeds. Don't worry about the ones that don't produce anything. You concentrate just on caring for the ones that are growing, and that will be enough. What's that got to do with what we do in the church? I mean, I'm not a farmer, right? You're not a farmer. What's this got to do with anything? Well, Jesus used that as an example. Sowing seeds, according to Jesus, throwing them, planting them, was just like 
talking to our friends, our families, our neighbors about Jesus, what Jesus wants us to do. Be kind, be fair to everyone we meet, even the kids who aren't so cool. And he wants us to tell people to be just and righteous with other people, to treat people properly. And according to Jesus' parable, most people we tell this to, they're not going to hear us. Most people we tell this to are going to ignore us. But enough people will hear us that we will make a big change in our houses, in our blocks, in our communities, and someday, maybe even the whole world. Jesus said to his disciples, a sower went out to sow. And most of the seeds didn't grow, but that's okay. Enough did. And he says to us, you're my people. You go out there and you tell your families, your friends, your block to be just and righteous with one another. To be kind even to the nasty people. Pray for those nasty people. And you know, most people are never going to hear what you have to say. But enough people will. So don't stop talking about Jesus and Jesus' kingdom. And that today is the parable of the sower on this, the second week of June. I hope you remember that. And I hope you start telling your friends what Jesus wants us to do. And that we start being even nicer and kinder to other people. Because that is what Jesus wants us to do. This is Pastor Mark of Clinton Avenue Reformed Church in Bergenfield. I thank you for listening. I hope you'll listen again next week. Please, when you watch this, like it, comment on it, share it. I want even more people to be watching our videos. God bless you today. God bless you this whole week to come.